Right. Um, we're going to come back, and I, I want to talk about... We were, before the, the news, we were talking about the Olympics, and you said, Sharon, something about some companies that actually offered bonuses. No, for some countries. Med- countries, sorry. Actually, the countries, countries. themselves. Yeah. So I'd offered bonuses. You win a gold medal, we'll give you a... a, a yeah, in some cases, significant money. Really? Really significant mm. money. And, and actually, the poorer the country, or the less athletes, the, yeah. the higher yeah. the money, it seemed. Um, right. I won't point any of them out, but yeah. yeah. UK was not one of those, by the And way. they're allowed to do that. They are. Presumably under the yes. new rules, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, okay. And I just said, well, do you know what? Um, it's a little hobby horse of mine, bonuses. I've never been absolutely uh, clear that bonuses do the job that people think they're going to do and what popped into the news it's on the business grapevine website so it's www.businessgrapevine.co.uk and mr neil woodford has scrapped employee bonuses and this is he's a top fund manager and he's going to scrap those bonuses that bankers are yeah, the big infamous ones. for. Um, it, he's argued that they don't correlate with performance of the investment fund. He's absolutely right. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of evidence that, that they don't. They're, they're supposed to be managing it. That you're supposed, supposed to, be to be paying them that, for their expertise. Mm. And I remember some time ago, he wrote a book called Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow. <clears throat> um, Kahneman. I've pronounced his, his name right, but anyway... Um, and he tells the story in this book where he, he went to look at the correlation between the performance of individuals in a company and their funds, yeah. what had happened over a period of five years. So you've got to give some length to this to say that, yeah, you know, the good guys always seem to do well with the results and the, the not-so-good guys don't. And the reason <laughs> he was going to do this is because he was invited to do a talk on incentives at their end of year bonus awards thing and he had to have dinner with the chief executives and they're all in the big conference you can imagine they're yeah. going to award significant bonuses Ferrari millions car, of pounds yeah, of money yeah. to these people who supposedly have done well and he said I have to tell you there is no correlation between the performance of these people and the performance of the fund you may as well put money in a slot machine and they went yeah we know that yeah and they still pay them bonuses they still do it yeah and it's it's historical I think, isn't it? It's something that the certain industries have been driven by yeah. that bonus scheme. Hmm. Um, but actually, you need to drive the individual. It's, and, you know. it's the simplest thing to... Th- it, without thinking, OK, we need performance, we'll pay for it. Yes. It, it, lots of evidence it doesn't work, that in fact, when you reward something with an extrinsic thing like money... It distracts them, so you can actually punish the performance. But yeah. um, quite often, it, there's so much competition to get that bonus pool yeah. by the end of the year. It's just a one-off thing, anyway. And then during the year, you, how do you motivate people again? But it, well, you were talking um, about passion. One of the items on your list there for starting a business was find something that you're passionate about. Yeah. That's an intrinsic w- reward, and you will get out of bed in the morning because you're passionate. Because you want to get there. Yeah. You Once it. you've been paid the bonus, the next week you're not going to get out of bed mm. because you were paid a bonus. No, it's, that doesn't. That's, yes, what, that's what you think. Doesn't colorate, colorate no. even. Correlate. Col- 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 correlate. It doesn't do that. Well, this guy rather bravely and his chief executive Craig Newman have announced it, and they say while the bonuses are an established feature of the finance sector, Neil and I want to make, make, take the opportunity to do something different, and it supports our firm's culture and ethos and -hmm. i think what he's saying is what you were saying you know that it's about brand it's about the way we do business Mm -hmm. and if the if you like working here because you like the work and the way we do it that's enough we'll pay you a good salary yes and and that's the difference is where there's a good salary and no bonus but where they've taken the bonus away and the salary is still poor Mm. and I think the thing with bonuses, especially within the financial industry, with things like the hedge funds, etc., does it breed bad practice? Mm, Could it encourage mm. um, people to do the wrong thing by the customer and not the right thing? So if I do X, I am going to get £500,000. Um, and can I do it without being caught? And that's happened. It, you know, we've had it all over the news recently. And <clears throat> He said, well, we're going to, I'm going to, we're going to pay them flat salaries and um, we want to discourage short-term decision-making 
and focus on long-term returns. What was the reaction of the workforce then, Mike? Uh, here, it doesn't mention it. They haven't said... Uh, I'm just scrolling down to see whether they, whether they have asked the workforce what they feel. I, what do you think it will be? I think oh. they'll lose some people. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be happy because they have already expected that sort yeah. of thing. This is why they've probably taken a job in mm. the first place. That's the problem. You t tend to start to expect it, so it becomes a norm, an expectation. It's no yeah. longer a bonus. So it's even that. It's, mm. it's not working at that level. If you're hitting a bonus every month, quarter or year, whenever you're getting it, to then not have that, that is a significant lifestyle mm. change, mm. unless they're matching your salary. We were talking earlier about hygiene factors. Because in terms of motivation at work... Uh, yes, I heard that before. Did, motivators and demotivators. And demotivators, believe, yeah. yeah. Like, if you go to a hotel, when did you last go downstairs and say, oh, the, sh the sheets were so clean, thank you. Uh, we'll come back again <laughs> because of the clean sheets. No. But you might go down and complain and never go again if they were dirty. You okay. just take some things for granted. You do, it's exactly. Standard, isn't it, it? There are some things yeah. that will demotivate you. Yeah. Uh, money is one of them. If it's not right, you'll leave. And so I think people will be fed up and they will leave because it's no longer right. But uh, it won't make them stay. It won't keep them happy at the job no. by paying them more and more and more. It's about what you do and how you treat them and those sportsmanlike things. Sportsmanlike all those leadership qualities. Yeah. Um, and what was it we said earlier? We said about um, valuing. Being valued, Being valuing val your employees. Yeah, valuing your employees and feeling valued. Hmm. Yeah. You can. It doesn't matter what job in the world you do, but if you feel that the hmm. people above you and below you and anyone around your customers, whomever, you feel valued within your role, then that's a good thing. That is a motivator. That's, a, that's an X1 factor as opposed to an X2 factor yeah. that will motivate you. But it's not only being valued, but also you know where you can find the support when you need the support yep. and that people are going to support you as well and you just have that sort of team and then a right environment around you and you're looking forward to go to work every day yeah yep. and you're not looking forward to the salaries in the background it's dropping as i often say <laughs> to my salaried friends as we speak to each other in the pub i say if you just listen quietly there you go. We can hear the money dropping in your account as we drink. <laughs> Let's have a listen to my account. No, nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> now then, um, Sharon, time for music again. Oh. And your choice, which is Tears.